spooky, spooky session begins. This is your reading for Tuesday, April 16th. If you would like to see the spread of the X Media Net on Instagram, today I'm using tarot by any means necessary. So, our cards is uh, the theme is the Ace of Pentacles, a card of new opportunities, resources, and stability. The tool card is the world. It's that of uh, completion, fulfillment, and wholeness. The obstacle is the inverted lovers, signifying disharmony, imbalance, and conflict. The advice card we got is the magician, uh, <laughs> believe it or not. The message being uh, believing in your creativity and your creativity as it pertains to overcoming uh, adversity, right? The sixth instinct is the divine light keeper. The message is helping people uplift humanity and support the collective awakening. So I guess helping others to help others, I guess. The moon, waxing gibbous as it will be for the rest of the week. The message of this particular phase, continue marching relentlessly towards your goal. All right, let's put it all together. So after yesterday's theme, this is a, this is a really welcome sight. We've been having, in the last few weeks, a lot more negative than positive. So this theme is one of good fortunes, mostly dealing with material gain. But it's important to remember that material gain in this context is not just money or physical goods. It can also be referring to health or the appearance of people into your life. So how do we harness this new abundance? So this tool card is not so much of an action card as it is more of a mindset or a state of being. This is the logical conclusion of yesterday's tool card in that if we feel content and fulfilled with our lives, then we won't have a hunger for more, which would drive that hunger would drive uh, spending resources to get more. You know what I mean? If we can feel truly happy and whole and content with who we are, where and how we are, anything that we get on top of that is gravy, all right? The obstacle to realizing this, <laughs> it's not, definitely not the only one, but the one that was presented in the cards is, uh, it's a simple one, but it's a profound one. That's a lot like yesterday's because they're the same fucking card, right? So the upright interpretation of the lovers is a, it could be either self-love or love with another person and the inverted has presents the same possibilities but instead of uh, love it's conflict so in the context of the reading i think that it's an internal conflict of not being able to accept those feelings of contentment um, fortunately our advisor is once again the magician believing in yourself and your ability to overcome the the feelings that are presented by the obstacle card you have the innate creative ability to find ways around these barriers to happiness. Yet, I, I know it's a lot easier said than done. You know, it's easy for me fucking sitting atop my high horse here. But the sixth instinct, this is something that I think that everybody should strive to be. Uh, I know I can say without a doubt that is what I strive to be. So I think given yesterday's sixth instinct of humanity in, at large as a concept, this one might be a sign of what you can be if you can achieve the deeper meaning of the world, the card, I mean, you know, the, the, the content happiness with who you are and feeling whole and over, over filled with love and ready to give it to anything and everything. That particular journey to being a light keeper, a light bringer, that's not something that I, that you can't do this with tarot or oracle or spirit boards or numerology or crystals or candles or any of that shit. Okay? It's a fucking slog. It's hard. It's hard to get to that point. It takes a lot of work. Yeah, and despite it taking a lot of work, I can tell you with a very strong degree of certainty that it's worth it. I promise that it's worth it. And given how much negativity we see everywhere all the time, like why, why resign yourself to just letting it happen when no one's asking you to change the world 
all together by yourself, but you can change the world for a person, a, a dog, a cat, a child who needs a mentor. You can make a difference. You can keep the light. So, the moon phase. This one's calling you to lace up your boots and hit the road. Because, uh, yeah, if your goal is to become a light keeper or continue keeping the light, it's, it's fucking rough. So lace up the boots and get, get to stepping. That's all you really can do. The stone today we, is a clear quartz, which is just a useful all-around sort of tool. One of its key aspects is that it's supposed to open the mind to higher consciousness. Now, if you recall the sixth instant card, this is probably exactly what we need today. So there you have it. That's Tuesday, April 16th. Um, if you'd like to see how I put this together, head over to patreon.com slash lvxmedianet. And uh, if you sign up for the Uki Spooky tier, then you can see I publish the video at the end of every week. You can see how I get all the cards that I get, how the stones come out, how the coin flip comes out, which I haven't been giving you, but it's more fun when Lily's with me. So <laughs> I've been holding off on it. I mean, you can go see the coin flip for yourself at a, on Instagram, right? Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or anything about the reading, 833-LUX-POTS. You can call. If you want your audio cut in, call, and I can do that. Otherwise, you can text. Uh, if you want a personalized reading, go to lvxmedia.net. And there, if you go to the Ookie Spooky page, which it would be .net slash spooky. You go there, and there's a form you can fill out that'll... Uh, all the all the requisite information that I need to give you the best, uh, best reading I can. Important note, LVX Media Net, that's the social media handle. If, if everywhere, anywhere and everywhere. If you cannot find it, we are not on it. But it's important for you to know. If you are trying to communicate with me about a reading or something and you don't want other people seeing what we're talking about do not dm me do not dm me it's not private uh believe it or not this is a little bit of a business that i'm running <laughs> i have some of my partners that work on this with me that have access to the account okay so there you go uh if you use the phone number that goes straight to me and me only if you fill out the web form for a reading, that goes to me and me only. I have to read this. I have to make this really explicitly clear because um, somebody uh, tried to somebody messaged me with some uh, with a very questionable and by questionable, I mean, like we're venturing into illegal territory uh, and like, I'm no, I'm not. No, we're not doing that. I can I can handle whatever like you want to talk about how you wish for the downfall of your enemies. That's fine. I can uh, I'll, I'll I'll help you out with that, I guess. But I'm not going to like I'm, I don't want to go down the fucking rabbit hole of hypotheticals. Just if you keep it in the in the realm of legal, consenting adults. You know what I mean. So um, right, uh, <laughs> God. I really don't like that I have to say that, but what can you do? Um, all right. I think that's all. Um, oh, right. Uh, Lily is not going to be joining us this week. So if you go to the uh, Instagram, she'll be posting her stuff there. So if you want to see the Oracle reading, go over to Instagram and do that. I will see you tomorrow. Same spooky time, same spooky place.